are done. You can talk to Bannon. I am prepared. And this is something that requires a tutorial, apparently. Save the Esper from Kafka. Need some info? I do. You'll fight in three groups. Use the Y button to switch between them. Defeat Kafka before his men reach Bannon. Otherwise, you lose. And now we get to pick our three parties. Uh, you don't have to follow me, but this is the way that I always like to do it. Go, go. And Glenn, this is a very powerful party all by themselves. In the second group, we're going to have Luke. Limea and Tweak. And in the third group, we're going to have Kanija and Elvis. Now, I think you could actually uh, use just two parties if you wanted to, but three makes this a lot easier, so you do want to split into three. And I think we are ready to go. This is going to turn out just like the, uh, the Moogle and, and Saving Coco before. Worked out. They're coming! And we are ready! How many are there? Oh, oh it's General Limea, the traitor! How delightful! This will be fun! Uh, that was one hell of a laugh you got there, Kafka. Oh, crap. Look at all those guys. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, so twelve total. Go! Get those vile insects! Alright, so, how I do this, and you, you don't have to do it this way, is I just position everybody in the right spot. Which would be right here. Actually, let's move you into the middle, and we'll put... No. We'll put Coco here. As you can see, I have completely cut off their path to Bandit. If they do get to Bandit, it is game over for you. There's really no point in me going to uh, fight them. They will come to you. Uh, these first fights are pretty much all going to be uh, troopers. Uh, these guys died a Bio Blaster. They do get quite a few attacks off, but Glenn is going to kick their ass. And that's pretty much my strategy here, is kicking their ass with Bio Blaster. You do get quite a bit of experience for that, though. And uh, as they get into fights, you'll just automatically switch over to that party. This is, unfortunately, my weak party here, Elvis and Kanijo, uh, because they don't have anything to attack uh, multiple enemies. I believe at level 15, Elvis will learn something that can attack multiple enemies. I think kills all these enemies at once. Unfortunately, he's only level 13, and I don't think he's going to get up to level 15 through this. I'm going to keep all these battles in uh, because they are required and they go really fast. I think two turns is really what we are looking at here. Two turns uh, from all my party members should be enough to kill everything here. This is really a battle of attrition more than anything else. So once again, I do have everybody positioned properly, and you just work back to whatever party you are on if there's no battle going. And here, uh, we want to just attack with Luke and... Tweak wants to rage, well you should, with a pterodon. If you found it, if not, uh, you'll have to find another an, another rage that you can use uh, that will do uh, multi-targeting spells. Uh, unfortunately, Tweak didn't want to use it this time, but there is the fireball. I think we saw that before. And unfortunately, that means I, I am going to be spamming something that I did before in terms of rages. And we got back attacked. Hooray. Uh, luckily, Glenn can still finish these guys off with one hit, but that means I'm going to have to heal sooner than I would like to. Bioblaster still finishes them off. Down they all go. And that's what I mean sometimes when I say that this game feels easy, because you have these abilities that you can just spam, like the Blitz. Oh, great. Now this is going to take two turns, which means that I'm going to need to heal. And you get uh, back attack, more or less, uh, no matter where you're going from. Okay. Cure across the board, please. I'll probably have to do that twice. I do have the earrings on Coco, uh, but this is not really the fight that I put them on her for. But the cure, I believe, is affected by the earrings as well. So that's always nice. 
bio blaster to kill the other troopers and we should be good to go and I believe that is three no four fights four fights down eight more to go this is this is the battle of attrition those uh, brown hair brown suited guys I guess they are tougher than the green guys there's no doubt about it that's the reason that they show up last uh, we're just yeah, waiting around for for them to show up uh, they are the tougher fights the troopers are the easier fights by by a while they are especially since I can take these guys out I do have the sprint shoes or is it sprint no the running shoes on Elvis so that I can do the aura bolt a little bit faster these guys, of course, don't have any way of healing. If you are close to death with these guys, uh, you'll want to use potions with them off-screen. Well, tonics off-screen. Uh, I still have more tonics than I do potions. Not sure how to feel about that. No level ups? No level ups, unfortunately. Back to Coco and Glenn. This is the time that you will want to use some magic here. Uh, let's go for fire on the heavy armor in the back. That guy is weak to magic, and he is pretty strong against physical attacks. Bioblaster, I believe, is considered a physical attack for whatever reason. Uh, it does more damage than auto crossbow, though, so stick with that. Stick with Bioblaster, and you will win. Do need to heal this party when I get a chance, though. I shouldn't need to do it just yet, though. I should be able to do it in the middle of battle. Over to the big party. Uh, yes. Use ice there. Use pterodon, and you attack somebody. It doesn't matter who. We'll see. Oh, that doesn't do nearly as much as I would like, but fireball should be able to take out the troopers, and we're just left with... Oh, no, they all die. Sweet. Go tweak. This is why this is this is my strong party. This will probably be the party that I use at the end. Yeah, spoiler, there's going to be a big boss at the end here. Okay, so healing. Yes, important. We'll also need to use a bio blaster, I believe. We'll at least take out the, the trooper. We'll see about the Fidor. The Fidor is, is pretty tough, that guy. So we'll see what we need to do against him. Yeah, Bio Blaster is not going to work for him. And nice, we blocked the Pounce. The Pounce does quite a bit of damage. If you can avoid that, that'd be great. Auto Crossbow, will that do it? If not, yeah, Coco should be able to finish it off. But he, he died. He died. We're, we're good without it. God, this party's going to get a lot of experience. And we got back attacked. Hooray! I don't believe Auto Crossbow can. Crap. I don't believe Auto Crossbow can take out um, the trooper in one hit. We'll see. No, it doesn't. But it, if I do a second one, they should both die nonetheless. So, Auto Crossbow should be able to finish him off. Go, Auto Crossbow. Down it goes. Whatever reason, the, the trooper has a delayed death can't really figure out why that is. Yeah, we'll just keep on pounding on this one. What the hell are you guys doing? And Bio Blaster on a preemptive strike. Thank you for making this exceedingly easy for me. Down they all go. We all know what happens there. Give me my experience. No level ups yet. Kind of waiting for those. Oh, uh, what do we got this time? Bounty Man and Troopers. Uh... Bounty Man is the name of the dog. I, d I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Just going to keep on going for Aura Bolt and Dispatch. That is clearly the best strategy here. Unless, of course, you are leveled up enough to have the multi-targeting spell. Uh, sorry, multi-targeting Blitz. I don't want to give away what it is, but it works very, very nicely here. I will say that. No level ups. Yeah, no, I don't understand it either. I do believe that the, their patterns are somewhat random. Like you won't, um, you won't ever get the same fight twice. But I'm not sure of that. I haven't done it enough, but it, it, it feels random to me from what I remember. I don't remember it turning out 
you know, exactly this way with, with the left side getting the most of the battles and the middle getting almost none. But what do I know? It could very well be scripted exactly this way every time, but I don't think it is. Uh, this side's starting to get a little weak. I don't have anything to heal you guys. Elvis. Ah, Kanija is a level. Nice. Elvis, I don't have anything to cure you. Uh, who are we here with? Okay. Fair enough. We will take you guys out. Hopefully, Tweak goes for Fireball. No, he did not. Damn it, Tweak. Why don't you go for the multi-targeting spell? That would have worked so nicely. Fireball, come on. Tweak, Fireball. Damn, those guys hit hard. Why? Why no Fireball? Okay, Cure. Across the board. And then you should be able to take that guy out. Even though the cure is really just for Luke. Luke, what the hell's your problem? Down it goes, down it goes. 120 experience, 384. Yeah, I'll take what I can. Now we get another fight on the left-hand side. Like I said, it's pretty much uh, exclusively this side. Now, I don't think the Bio Blaster is going to finish off the Bounty Man, which is the name of the dog. Uh, but usually, Bounty Man, yeah, usually the dogs run when they're by themselves. They, they only fight in packs, I guess. So they're scripted to run if they're not in a pack. And of course, of course, we get the pincer attack again. Now let's see, can I... We'll go for that. Oh no, I need to heal. I was about to say, let's see if I can multi-target spell my way to victory, but no, I need to heal first. So down goes the left side, cure in the middle, and then Bioblast on the right sh side should be enough to finish the job here. And I'm really hoping for a level up somewhere along the line here. Somewhere along the line. That would be nice. Level up? Yeah, Coco gained a level. Very nice. 